This is the third lesson in a series of videos intended to teach you how to use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki to find records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. In order to match the information you have on the person in the United States to the correct person in the records of Germany, you need to try to find the full name of your ancestor, the exact place name of the town he lived in, the time frame that you're looking for records, and the religion. This article, Germany Gathering Information to Locate Place of Origin, is a list of records that you can search and links to make it possible for you to reach those records. Here is an example of the 1900 census. These three columns, the birthplace of the person in the census, the birthplace of his father, and the birthplace of his mother, can sometimes tell the town, as it does here with Bonn. Usually, however, it just says Germany, or the province, such as Saxony, which can be very important. But there's other helpful information here. The month and year of the birth, the year that they entered the United States, this NE means that they became citizens. United States Census Online Genealogy Records will give you links to the census records which are available from the free Family Search Historical Records site and from three different subscription sites. Notice these important points about searching vital records. A birth certificate for a child might tell its parents' birthplaces. Marriage certificates, in addition to the marriage information, can give the birth dates and places of the bride and groom, and occasionally they are detailed enough to give the names and birthplaces of the parents of the bride and groom. Death certificates, in addition to giving the death information, will give the birth information on the deceased and usually state his parents' names and their place of birth. Here's an example of a marriage certificate with the birthplace of the groom and his parents' names. Here is a death certificate. Notice that it gives the age of death, which you can subtract from the death date to get the birth date. It gives the birthplace. It gives the names of the parents. Here are two links that will help you find vital records. How two articles go into detail about all the different ways of finding birth, marriage, and death records for each state. U.S. Online Genealogy Records by State will give you a chart for each state to all the existing online databases of births, marriages, and deaths. This is a typical find a grave entry. We have the birth date and birthplace in Germany and also her religion. Here are the links for find a grave and billy graves by going to the state online genealogy records page you will find additional links to cemetery records for that state. Here's an example of the rich details in an obituary. For this gentleman, we have his birth date and his birthplace in Borg, Germany, and parents' names, the name of his wife and their marriage date in Germany, the year they immigrated. Also down here, we have the names of his brothers and sisters. And once again, the state online genealogy records pages will have additional links to obituaries. Draft registration cards give birth place and birth date. This is a typical World War I registration. The birth date and the birth place are listed. This is a typical World War II registration card. Again, the birth date and the birth place are listed. The World War II draft included older men. This is the entry from the Social Security Applications Index, giving the birth date. He was born in Langen, Hanover, in Germany, and his parents' names.
If your ancestor lived in the United States beyond 1935, you could find their Social Security application. It might be in this application's index, but that index is very incomplete. The Social Security Death Index is more complete, and after you find him there, you can mail away for the application. Finally, under Other Sources, you will see the advice to check a lot of local and county records. Information on searching those can be found on the wiki page for the county in the United States where your ancestors lived. Now you try it. Go to the article, Germany Gathering Information to Locate Place of Origin, and use the information and the links there to search these six record groups for clues to the town of origin you need in Germany. These important links will be found in the notes below this recording.